Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Chips Challenge 2, Thou Shalt Not Die. And today we're starting with Spare Me, which could have been an alternate title for this game. What have we got? 123 seconds to get 20 chips, but that's one, two, three, three strikes and you're out. That is a different sport, I do believe. Though they could mean, and eh, maybe, maybe they mean like three strikes and you're out, like out of the level. So maybe three very precisely placed bowling balls will get us out of here. Here's one. Here's a bunch of, here's a bunch of nice little uh, consolation prizes. We got a yellow key, a pair of flippers, pair of force boots, and I don't. Okay, yeah, I don't drop anything here, but uh, force boots, flippers. Yellow key and electricity thing. Okay, so I step on this. Don't suppose it would be too easy to leave this here? No, it does not work that way. Good night. Um, okay, and I don't suppose I could get by with just like strategically dropping all this stuff? Okay, so like, okay. So if it grabs all this, it gets the yellow key, it can go on the force floor and the water, and it does that. I don't suppose. It would be so easy that I get ahead of the bowling ball. Yeah, I could not do that. You throw the bowling ball and then yeah, you're at least two tiles behind it. Oh yeah, and it's like one frame anyway. Wow, okay. So yeah, this, we're gonna be, let's run around real quick and see what we got going on here. Okay, okay, that pushes into there. Probably gonna need to keep that held down for something. What kinda, what kind of business have we got in here? Okay. And this will take us down into here. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. This is this is fun, I suppose. This is some kind of fun, I guess. And I think I got myself dang old stuck in there, so that's that's maybe not something terribly fun. What have we got? Okay, there are chips in here, so we do need to get in here somehow. Uh doesn't look like there are Okay, we gotta get in here somehow, and I gotta remember how these how these gates work, so gotta work that out somehow. And then, I, the, how many chips is this? Ten? I bet the other ten are over here. Yep, they're right there, okay. Can't get in there. What about, this all looks like bonus material. Except for that red bit. What's, what's up with the red bit? Um, gotta be Melinda to get in here. But I have not seen a genderizer. There's a teleporter. Oh, cool! We actually get uh, we actually get negative time to beat this level. Who's ready? So let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's go in here. Let's take the negative time real quick. I'm just gonna run around and do some quick experimenting. Another pair of flippers, eh? That's interesting. But there's no like real way out of here. How do I? I'm gonna have to get inside here somehow. Um. I guess take a bowling ball and I kind of want to, okay, yeah, might be doing a little bit of experimenting. So this could be a little boring to start, but I kind of want to see what I got going here real quick. Uh, ha ha, yeah, always dropping the wrong thing. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I should be able to get in here. Oh, hey, all right. Well, there's half the chips down. That's interesting. Okay, so now I can kind of walk through here as I please. And I've got two more bowling balls. Okay. So use that first one to get into here, and then I get two more. What does that do for me, though? I guess I could go ahead and pick them up, but there's gonna be some figuring outs to be done. Nice though that okay, nice though that we've already got half of it solved. So there's half, there's getting half the chips, and getting half the chips, that's one third of the battle. So let's try to figure out how to get in here. Okay, so if I go. <laughs> Well, that's immediately incorrect. <laughs> Good to know. Probably same. Well, no. Same deal here. Um, okay, go through here and kind of. Okay, yeah. So I end up going through there. I didn't want to do that. That uh, yeah, I kind of figured that was that was death. So I'm gonna play around with this real quick. Yeah, get that going. Now try going here. Okay. And then come back out here, and then... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, man, yeah. Okay, so this indicates... 
So when you go in here, you'll go the opposite way of what it's facing, right? So you'll go in here and then you'll do it again. And then I could go down right here, but I'll be taken straight instead. All right, so I should be able to come in here, do this, go back through it. And then I should be able to go down. No, that sent me the wrong way. Okay, all right. Let's try it one more time. Hit down. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, that changes that, which will send me back the other way. So I'm going to have need to have this changed. Go on the other side of it. I may need to use a bowling ball to just kill those teeth. That might be... Hmm. Lots of... No. I'm pretty sure I have to use that bowling ball to get in over here because there is no way in here. There is no way to change myself into Melinda. So a bowling ball is going to have to get me in there. So I have to do that first. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and take that. Go in there. Yep. Yeah, uh-huh. Pop, 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 pop. Great. So, all right. Pretty quick. Pretty quick little deal right there. All right. Let's grab these then. And I'm going to want to pop this open. Yeah, so that when that... Okay. So I go in here. And then do the same deal here. Yep, it'll take me that way. Uh-huh. And then just kind of keep following it. Keep... Not quite. S same deal. Okay. Just got to go through it a few times to get going where I want. And then that should take me down into here. Here. Okay. Can I roll it over the dirt? Don't see why I wouldn't be able to. A bowling... Well, a bowling ball... It would be difficult to stop a bowling ball. Or it would not be difficult to stop a bowling ball rolling on dirt. So, uh... Okay, yes. Good. That does... Okay, it goes over the dirt and kills the thing. Okay, so all I have left is to figure out how to get... Oh, boy. Okay, so maybe I need to take a bunch of stuff in here with me to get past this. What is this? Okay, so I should be able to get in here pretty easily from this point forward. Because I should be able to just... Okay, yeah. So if I get all of these little items right here... Okay. I think I'm seeing why... Okay, I'm seeing why the other pair of flippers might be necessary. I'm gonna need to drop my bowling ball, I think. So I'm gonna go... Okay, let's grab these things. I don't have much time left to figure this out. Bummer. Yeah, and I just, like, eliminated most of that. <laughs> All but, like, one second of that time. So if I get the other pair of flippers, that should enable me to drop my bowling ball. And I can, like, come back for that later or something. So, okay, all right. I... I think I'm getting closer, but yeah, you don't have a lot of time to execute this. Okay, let's get two more items so that we can get to that toggle door, whatever that does. And I think if I do this, I will just drop the bowling ball without rolling it. No, nope, that rolls the bowling ball. That's probably not what I wanted to do. That is very much not a strike. So, okay, we're going to have to come in here. What does that do? We've got about 36 seconds to find out what that does. Where... Oh, that just opens that. That's not necessary at all. So once we get the items... Okay. Yeah, we get these. Oh, yeah. Ate the... The bowling ball ate the yellow key. That's great. That's wonderful. So I have two pairs of flippers. How do I hold this open, though? That's the... Okay. All this stuff... Okay, I've got to get in here to get the chips, but that's about it. Most of this is not necessary. Bummer. What I need to figure out is how to hold this open. That's going to be... That's going to be a question. Maybe I need to get the... I don't think I can get the teeth out of here. Alright, I think I might have it. There's just a lot of steps to remember. Let's go ahead and get this popped open. And then we're going to use these buttons to expedite this. And then... We can set this up the way we want. 
Actually, we want this one... Yeah, we want this one done like this. So, let's go ahead and get the bowling ball through here like we want. Alright, and now 10 chips. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to get the other two bowling balls. We're going to take one of those through here, and let's see. Hopefully I did this upright so we don't waste any time. Should be able to go down through there and then pop this open. No, I did Okay. I'm supposed to have it this I wait. Okay. Okay, this is the one this is the one that's confusing me with the Okay. This is the I know I have to do this one twice so that I go down. I figured that much out. Pop this one like this and then we want to pop this well, hold on now. Yeah, I think we want it that way. Okay, so now grab these. Great, great, great. I'm loving it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, so now we're going to come through here. And I think I have it right this time. If I don't, then curses and fi and fooey on me. There we go, alright. Gonna go ahead and kill you. There we go. Now, we have one more bowling ball. We're going to use it in a very specific way. Let's see. Okay, so we have this little we have this little race course around here for this to get. So we want to we want to get these things, but we want to get them in a very specific order, I think. We want it to go along the force boot track. So we do not want to give the bowling ball the force boot, so I'm going to pick those up. I'm actually going to pick these up too, but I'm going to drop them right here because we want it to go up along this rail, along the water, it grabs this, and then I think I should have some time to run around here and get into this. Hopefully that's how it works. Might have something there. Let's see about it. Okay, come on. Come on through the deal here. There we go. All right. Hey, yes. Okay. That wasn't such a bad level. Like with the C. Scott Davis stuff, there's a lot of like working out like what's necessary, what's not. Uh, once you get the bonus stuff worked out and once you do the efficiency of the railroad tracks, it's not such a hard level. I enjoyed myself. I had fun with that one. Let's go on to the next one. Don't be too greedy. Why not? Well, <laughs> generally it's never good to be that greedy in this game, but you know, uh, maybe a little greed is fine. We're in the swamp. 400 seconds to get 30 chips in a very camo-licious area. All right, well, let's try to avoid being greedy. This is, this is just a straight up maze. Well, that's fun. That's cute. Mazes are cute. Is there anything special about it other than the fact, okay, yeah. Oh, I see. Don't don't get too greedy for 10-point flags. Oh, no. I I think I'll be fine. I don't think I'm too... Oh, boy. This is going to be another boring level like that bomber maze, isn't it? Well, except this time, at least I don't have to bomb things. That's, you know, small victories. Let's, let's take them where we can get them. Where is the exit? The exit's right back there at the beginning, so we have some time to wander. But we, in general, we should probably be as efficient as we can. I've already got a third of the chips, but I have a feeling it's going to get tougher to work out our path as we move on. Okay, I need to move back toward... Once I feel... Okay, yeah, we don't want to get greedy. Okay, once you get to a certain point, chips start to become in short supply. And they... Okay. All right, the farther out I get in general... Looks like there's fewer and fewer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm in 100 point territory. That Okay, so you can kind of work out where you're supposed to be. Maybe, it looks like, by figuring out when the chips dry up. When the chips dry up, start pursuing a new lead. Because, okay, I've already got half the chips, but I am not worried in the slightest about bonus points. Let's, okay, let's make our way back toward, okay, yeah, we're back toward new territory. Okay, so now, let's go ahead and let's move toward this part of the maze. Oh, hey, two chips right there. That's, that's good. That's efficiency. Okay, so the idea with not getting greedy is, you don't want to, okay. All right, 
Well, we got ourselves one flag. Pat on the back, we earned it. Okay, we're in 100 territory now, so don't want to do that. This is not a terribly exciting level, I have to say. It does not feel like level 196 out of 200 material. I can definitely say that much. Okay, so I guess I could spend the rest of the time running around getting flags, but why the heck would I do that? That is a fool's errand. Alright, let's run around Camo Town some more. I see I missed one right here. Feels like I'm pretty close to the end of this level. I, hmm. Not, okay, well, at least all the chips were in kind of close proximity. I feel good about that. I'm glad I didn't have to run around. Okay, it's like a C. Scott Davis level if getting the bonus points was even less exciting than it normally is somehow. Anything up here? No, 100 points. Oh, ooh, ooh, don't get don't get too excited. A whole 100 whopping points. There's the last chip. We should get out of this swamp while we can and treat ourselves to a third level, methinks. Because the sooner we get this game over with, the, uh, the more excited I will be. I'm really ready to move on to something new let's let's slog our way out of this swamp yowzer first try woo i am feeling the adrenaline i've almost hit 10 million points wow good for me that is million right yes <laughs> great with numbers that's me block combo number four by lou bega i mean chuck somerville so what have we got here okay we got we got ice blocks and we have a few dirt blocks, okay? The dirt blocks are going to be necessary for getting around corners. We have four of them. So if I'm identifying this correctly, we have a lot of time to do this. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna turn on... Let's see. Uh, give me just a second to turn on my cursor. Yes, we're going to capture the cursor real quick because I'm going to point at things. Okay, so we're going to put our cursor... Uh, if you can see it, we want to go, in case you can't, I'm, go I'm going to move around synchronously with it. We want to put a dirt block right here, and we want to put a dirt block down here, obviously. And then we want to put one at the end of this row, and also one right below it. I think this is the four spots where we're going to want a dirt block. And the rest will be maneuvered with ice. So we got to get ourselves... Okay, and we cannot let... Okay, how many spaces do we have? We have 25 blocks, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so we must use every block. Time to turn off the cursor now. That was that was a fun little cameo by, by little Mrs. Mouse Cursor. Okay, so... Get out of get out of here, mouse cursor, you bother me. Let's get thinking. Okay, we have to push the blocks in such a way that we can kinda that we can kinda ooch them out of here. Okay, so what we wanna do okay, this might take some some thinking initially. Uh because I cannot use the edges at all. I, first things first, I have to get a dirt block into here. I have to figure out how that works. So, okay, we've got we got a little bit of free space here. That's exciting. Uh, we don't want to do anything that would get it blocked off, though. So, let's go ahead and push this here, this over, then one down. Okay. This might not be a terribly exciting level either, but we have to we have to make the best of it. Uh, no, I need to get around it somehow. Okay, getting around to that first ice block, I bet, is going to be the tough part. Once we... Okay, actually my first two need to be the dirt block out of here. So... Alright, once we get... Okay, we got to get two dirt blocks out of here to begin with. Okay, so... This might take some fancy doings. Okay, well, we got... Okay. I feel like I'm, feel like I'm a little top-heavy at the moment. This could be... Okay, alright. Um, no, not so much that, thank you. Uh, let's try to... Okay, yeah, let's try... Oh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, this is... 
This is feeling kind of right. Okay, I'm I'm enjoying. No! I was one down. No! Now it's stuck forever. What I was trying to do was get it out here. And then I was about one block away from having it. In fact, I would have had it because... You know, we can get rid of this down here now and kind of maybe... Well, well this is going to be... This is going to be quite the sortie, it looks like. Holy crap, Lois. 60 whole minutes later, I think I finally have one block out. Okay, theoretically this should get easier as I go onward. Hopefully I can remember how I did that, because if I mess this up, it could get dirty. Okay, so... Alright, so now... Let's see. We have kind of more room to work with now, but we need to get some... outside stuff going. We need to get some outside interests, maybe some outside action going here. Let's see. Okay, so we got this. Alright, we move some of this down. It might be easier to work with this stuff. Uh, maybe not so much right there, though. Okay, so now... Alright, it's kind of the same as before, <laughs> except now we have one... one space to work with. Okay, so let's kind of do some same type stuff here. Can I get another one out? Maybe one of a lower, of a lower countenance. Okay, so let's let's start working, let's start working our way around here. Yes, now we've got the other one in place. Now, theoretically, hopefully I have enough time to push blocks around. So, yes, once you get these two, then you can start pushing ice blocks down. And that should be when it gets pretty easy. Okay, so as long as you can figure out that first one, it gets kind of... It gets kind of a little easier from there on out. So, let's go until we have ice blocks going across this way. All right, you just have to not, now I just have to not do a bad push. That would be absolute disaster at this point. But I have to kind of get moving because I've only got a few, a couple hundred seconds left. But I feel pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty confident in myself at this point. We'll probably, probably save ourselves a fair little workload by maybe going up with some of these. Uh, maybe drag multiple ones around at once. Okay, yeah, we got a little, got a little couplet going here. All right, so as long as we can get that worked out, I think things should be pretty hunky dory. All right, block pushing is not the most exciting thing in the world, but when it's as, uh, when it's as difficult as this turned out to be, uh, it, it is. This is a satisfying one to figure out. Once you got it, once you got it worked, once you get that first block worked out, it just kind of all cascades really cleanly and nicely into place. In that, uh, but you know, this is a Chuck Somerville level, so I would expect nothing less than perfection. I do feel time kind of creeping. I gotta, I gotta really get cracking here. You, you get around, you get moving around. Let's let's give our other dirt blocks their freedom. That's going to be very important in the seconds to come. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit of a crunch now. Hopefully, hopefully I did not, I did not disaster this up any. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. I'm getting a little hesitant here with my block pushes. Hesitation, hesitation is bad. That could be... That could very well be the death of me. Only 95 seconds left. Oh my gosh, I don't want to fail now. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's get our dirt blocks in there now. This has taken about 10 seconds per bit. 
Oh yeah, with 10 seconds per, oh man, yeah. I maybe needed to figure this out a little faster. Oh, this is gonna be so painful if this doesn't work. Yeah, I can only push one block around at a time now. Oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, how painful is that? Oh, daddy no really likey. Oh no. Oh, to have it figured out and to run out of time. That is just the ultimate sadness. I would hate for that to happen here, but I have a feeling it is what's going to happen. And you need every last block. I mean, I've got a good rhythm going now, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh. oh, that's a heartbreaker. Yeah, with the way this is going, it's taking at least a few dozen seconds to get around. It's not happening for me, I don't think. Oh, I would. Oh, I wasted a little extra time there. <laughs> away from freedom <laughs> oh gosh oh well now that we know how it goes I can just pretty much repeat what I did just do it a little faster and walk into the exit like so that should be plenty of time to get to the exit that was an interesting level very it took a long time to work out how to get the first block out but the weird thing about this level is like you do have to, on some level, know what you're doing in it. But weirdly, like, if you behave decisively and act like you know what you're doing, the level kind of responds to a bit of swagger. Like, once you get that first block out and you get it down, if you start pushing blocks around like you know what you're doing and if you think that you actually have something, you kind of do get into it and it and it kind of and it did get easier as it went along that that did track overhaul pretty excellent um as we're approaching the end here i'm having i'm having fun there's some good stuff here at the end uh hey we cleared the 10 million mark all right